Hello guys, Craig Frost here for a Juicy Tuts tutorial and today, I say today, I've actually done another one today. Uh, do you know what? I actually did my hair and put a clean shirt on for this tutorial and then I realised they can't see me. They can't see what I'm wearing or how I look. So that was pretty stupid. Yeah. See, I normally do these tutorials naked, but anyway, we're going to look at layer masks today and why you might use them. Uh, I'm looking at this picture, it's probably not the best one to use for this, but the point I want to get across is not destructing a layer. Uh, let's say um, I have a layer over here on the right hand side and let's say that maybe I want to have this picture all in black and white apart from this side wall. So what I might do, what I might do is I might have two layers over here, and I might uh, affect the layer. I might um, desaturate this whole layer. And then what I might do is I might just... I'm going to do this really roughly. I might cut out the area that I want. Now, this is fine. It works. But... There's times when you'll be making adjustments to layers and then you want to go back and change something and this is gone now. There's nothing there in that layer uh, to bring back. I know I have a layer underneath it, but this is just an example. You might not have that. Uh, so what you can do is apply layer mask to your layer, which you come down here and you click this little layer mask button. Now it opens this little layer window here so you can click which layer to work on that will be the actual layer this will be the layer mask now layer masks work by whatever is white will be on show and whatever black isn't if you get what what i mean it's hard for me to describe but if i now put an effect on this layer uh not not on the uh, there silly I can put an adjustment on to desaturate this layer. Now if I use a paintbrush and I paint um, black, you'll see that... Oh, sorry, I'm on the wrong layer. You have to select the layer mask. You'll see now it's kind of putting a hole in. So whatever's black will be cut out of the layer on the layer mask. Now again, I did apply the effect, so I can come in here and paint these chairs back in. I did apply the effect straight to the uh, layer again, but of course you can do this with what we've looked at in a previous video, so if I undo this, I can apply a, a new adjustment layer in, and I can add this to uh, saturation and desaturate. And then if I fill this whole layer with black, no, I'm getting confused here now. I can fill this whole layer with black and then it will show through what's underneath and then I can paint white back in. Or of course, using layer masks, I can, I'm being really hard at describing this. If I delete this layer now, I can also do the same effect using the layer mask which comes with adjustment layers so I can paint black back in and it will show what's below it. So you see none of this is ever destructive and I can even turn it off and we get back to the original layer. So layer masks are handy to not make permanent changes just like adjustment layers and I think they go in hand in hand really well and you'll find uses for them a lot. I mean this is just a really simple explanation. There's someone outside my room. Anyway, they probably can't hear me. Uh, this is just a really simple way. I've struggled to describe this, guys, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, this tutorial was planned out so well. Not. So uh, make sure you follow on twitter.com forward slash juicy tuts and click that subscribe button if you like to see more of these videos. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Even if you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs up. It helps us out a lot. Thanks. And uh, I'll do better in the future. But you get the idea about these these uh, layer masks. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you again sometime soon, probably. Bye.